Torque or moment is the tendency of a force to rotate something around some central point of rotation. And it's often depicted with a wrench, which is what we've drawn here. And it can be described using two formulas. One of them is torque equals FD sine theta, and the other is torque equals FL, where L is the lever arm. We've drawn both here to indicate different ways of approaching torque problems, and then we'll specifically go through how to assess a torque problem and make sure that you make it as solvable as possible. So the first thing to realize is that you use this FD sine theta if the distance between the point of rotation and the point where the force is applied, if that vector there is not perpendicular to the force vector. In that case, you're going to get an angle between the, the distance vector and the force vector. And the sine, because remember that this is a right triangle, the sine will tell you the opposite over the hypotenuse. So it will correct for only the vertical component of the force. And so we can kind of transcribe this over. And then you get the component of force that is exactly perpendicular to that. So you use FD sine theta when you're given a distance and there's a reason you want to use this particular distance in your calculations and that vector happens to not be perpendicular to the force. So in that case the sine theta is there just to correct so that you have only the vertical component of this force vector. Now there's another way to do it and this kind of underscores an interesting part about torque and that is that torque doesn't always have to be calculated using the obvious choices. It's obvious to make this distance as the distance along the wrench. It just seems like a fairly straightforward guide that we could use. But you can continue this force through and if you continue this path you'll eventually reach a point where you have a perpendicular angle between the force and some imaginary lever arm that you create. And so if you do it that way, then it's the force times the lever arm. As long as the lever arm, which is the distance from the central point of rotation to the point where the force vector intersects that, as long as those are perpendicular, then you don't need to use sine theta. You can simply use torque equals force times lever arm, and you should be good to go there. So the thing to realize with torque is the bottom line is it doesn't matter whether these lines are along the object or whether they're imaginary. You can even set your point of rotation somewhere other than at the center of this screw. But the bottom line is that as soon as you get some lever arm that is completely perpendicular to the force vector, or if you can find a way using trigonometry to make the force vector perpendicular to your distance, that's when you're ready to calculate torque. So whenever you're dealing with torque, try to get those right angles, whether it's through trigonometry or through continuing this vector, and then you'll be good to go with these two formulas. Torque equals FD sine theta or torque equals force times lever arm.